What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're finally finishing the install of the light bar and it's actually really nice out in Pennsylvania today, which is good and bad because I really want snow so I can show everybody that I actually can do donuts in the truck. So to recap, we have this set up down here, bolted on, I'll put a link down for this video. Kind of a long, relatively tedious video for everything I did, but it's there because I'm sure for somebody it's gonna help that wants to do this. A dollar fifty in washers to make every all this work versus spending thirty five to like a hundred bucks, depending on what bracket you go with, to mount the other other way. Now, before we get into the rest of this install, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below, guys. I know not everyone's thrilled about the light bar, but it's kind of cool. A lot of people do really like them, and it's kind of just part of the build. You know, nothing crazy but just kind of getting started as we save up to do some pretty extensive front end work on this truck. And then after that front end work is done on the truck, guys, we're gonna actually move on to the real tow build here for the truck, so stay with me. Builds aren't done on the channel yet, guys. Along with soon, we're actually gonna head over to the white truck that's sitting at Diesel and Automotive and take the headlights out. I'll explain that to you guys at a later date, but we're probably gonna be taking the headlights off that truck and bringing them home to mess with them a little bit. Now I'm going to kind of, I know this wiring harness looks like a giant disaster right now, but it really isn't. So we have our plug down here, which does have a connector that can come off. Then we have our fuse over here, which has our power wire on it. And then we have our ground wire. So when we come to the other end of this wiring harness, we have our fuse here, which our power wire comes out of. And then it goes into the relay here, which our ground wire comes out of. So what I'm actually thinking is that I'm gonna try to mount this relay right here. Truth be told, you probably don't really need to necessarily mount it anywhere, but it is the right way to do it. I might even just try and press it on the back side of this connector here. But that way they don't, there's not a ton of ground wire here. This is easy to extend if you wanted to, I just don't really want to. Is we ran the wire down here Took a little bit of work and then I picked it up down below and pulled it over. Uh, we'll go under the truck here in a minute to get to that. Now up top here I found one thing and that is this terminal has been replaced. I actually don't really like this style terminal. I don't really care for how this is ran at all actually. And maybe this is, and that may be how it comes from factory. I'm not knocking whoever did this repair job. But down the road, we're probably gonna get some nice terminals here and fix this up for other potential accessories. That being said, we are going to be putting auxiliary switches in the cab, which should already have wires coming through the firewall. So anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, just to recap where we're at here, I think I finally have some of this set up how I want it. So the relay I mounted here, sorry about the sun. So the relay, I just pushed it on that little clip, fits perfect there and the ground is right here. Now I do wanna say I'm not thrilled about the power wire here, how I have it. It's no fault of the system as it is just the options in here to do stuff. I, at some point, would love to mount basically a, a secondary fuse panel to be able to add accessories and stuff like this. So anyway, getting ahead of myself. So I tucked the fuse right here, so it's easy to get to. You can just pull that out. And then ran the wire around here and mounted it. Again, sorry about the sun. I know it's kind of killing some of my image here. Your picture, excuse me. So then I just tucked this neatly around here and down for the excess wire. Now I probably in the end will at some point modify this harness so there's not a lot of slack in this. Uh, I don't, I hate the extra wire. But for now, cause we're not sure if it's gonna stay on this truck or if it's gonna go on Josh's off-road build he might have to fight me for this bar, I don't know. So now if you come down here, I don't know if you can see it, but the wiring for this is tucked underneath there. We're gonna go underneath now and I'll show you how I have it. Okay, so here's my wire. And these are the weather things I used. They're the all weather things. So basically once you heat them up, you'll see like a little bit of goo come out the side and that helps seal them all off. I'll put a protective coating on this down the road. So anyway, we're gonna zip tie this up to the fog light wiring harness, 
which is this guy right here. So we're gonna zip tie this after we put some weather, basically this plastic stuff around the factory, loom, wire loom, that's the word I'm looking for. And then we're gonna zip tie that up so it doesn't catch on anything. Now I did measure between these tow hooks and it looks like about a 30 inch light bar would fit exactly between those tow hooks. I might have to do something in the future. Okay guys, so we're pretty much wrapped up for today. We have all of our wires run. I wanna show you exactly what I got here, if I can get that sun out of the way. So here is the wire up top here that feeds the light bar down below. We have our ground right here on this bolt. This is a metal bracket here, just so you guys know. Our relay is right there. So then we have our power wire run all the way around here. I tucked the other wire in this groove and I'm gonna tie everything up here because here's where our actual thing is. I'm still trying to find the cleanest way into the cab. So there is a spot right down here I could go into. I might have to go underneath and use one of the drain plugs to feed it into the cab. That's what I've done in the past. But anyway, the next shot's gonna be, we're gonna light this whole street up. Hopefully no cops drive by that road while I'm doing it. That'd probably get me in a little bit of trouble. And would be my luck. But guys, so basically nice clean install here. We're gonna, we will finish this up and get this all tucked away. Well, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that right now. In the cab here, we're probably gonna toss it down here so it'll be nice and out of the way very clean so that's probably what i'm going to do just drill a hole in the back and run it through if you do have upfitter switches in your truck you could just wire them into that that's one way to do it this light bar is just on off it's not some of their light bar bars have apps you hook up to them and everything i'll see if i can't find a link to one of those products of theirs that have the app that you use to control your light bar which i think is pretty cool and i'll definitely put a link over to a buddy's page hammerdown motorsports that installed one on his off-road f-150 that is basically a junkyard build that he he beats the crap out of that truck that truck was also hooked up to my white truck and we did a little tug of war with it i'll try to find that video and drop that down in the comment section as well so anyway let me know what you guys think of the light bar install all in all for not having one of like the fancy brackets that you can get for this I really think it turned out super nice again don't forget to tie all your wires up make sure everything's secure so you're not dragging low or nothing's getting pulled on because that will ruin your day in a heartbeat the next video for this is going to be fixing this emergency brake cable that broke on the truck i have that in the back pretty cheap from ford actually like 25 bucks it runs from about mid cab all the way back to the driver's side wheel so that's the next video guys anyway if you haven't already hit that subscribe button guys next clip is going to be at night i'll see you all in a little bit Okay, so we're actually using the light bar here, just blinding me so you guys can actually see me here. So we have my headlights on and the light bar. And as you can see, it is lighting up this street. I'm gonna turn the headlights off and let you guys kind of see down here as to how much this lights everything up. So this light bar literally is shining enough to light up more than regular just headlights are. We don't have this aimed really any specific way, but it's really wide and it shoots pretty far down there. I don't know if the camera is doing justice, but there's a stop sign down there pretty far 
and it is super well lit up. So anyway, guys, we're gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed this upload. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below, guys. This light bar down in the description. The multicolor one I talked about earlier down in the description as well. Go check those links out. Hammer Down Motorsports video down there installing the multicolor one over at his channel. Go check him out. Awesome channel, good friend of mine. I'll see you guys in the next upload.